So in this demo, I want to talk a little bit about um, the benefits of using a template file and a couple of different ways that you can create a template file. Now, the benefit of using a template file, um, and let me, I'm going to show you by starting a new drawing. And I'm going to select the um, template file that I have set up, which is my AIO DWG template. And when I open that, what I get with the template file is I have all of my text styles are set up. I have my dimension style already set up. I have multi-leaders set up. Um, if I go in on layers, I have a whole bunch of the layers that are, are prescribed in the IDCAD standards. They're already all set up and ready to go. Um, and this can be very helpful. It saves a whole bunch of time in, in the initial setup of the drawing, because there's no need once you've done that. Um, that's one of the, the great things about AutoCAD is you have all of this reusable data that you can make use of without having to go through the setup over and over and over again. So that's the benefit of having the template file. Now, how do you create one? There's a couple of different ways you can do it. One thing you can do is you can come in here, you can start a new drawing, and you know just pick one of the basic templates that's provided in AutoCAD and then you can go through and you can set up your you know you can look at the IDCAD standards and go through and set up set up all the text standards um, you can set up the dimension styles you can set up leader styles you, I would set up a table style you can add the layers um, you know a, a lot of that information is um, well all of the information really is in here I would set up title blocks and you can even add in some common blocks that you use all the time an example of that would be um, like uh, doors or if there's certain furniture you use all the time or maybe you're drawing um, labels or elevation tags that sort of, of item would be very beneficial to have in the drawing so the second way that you can can do that I mean and you, you would do you would do this first way if you haven't done a project using the the standards or you didn't feel very confident about um, if you had the standards set up correctly the the benefit of doing it that way is there's um, a certain purity to the file in that there's not a lot of extra data that might not be correct. Um, you can go through and really get the, the setup right, get it done one time, and then you've got it to use. So, um, and I, I'll go through the process of actually creating a template file, but I'm going to show you that using the second method that I want to show you, which is if you have a project that you've done and you feel pretty confident about the the setup so you know on this one I've got all my got all my text styles are in place I've got um, my dimension style is in place I have um, let's see I've got a whole bunch of multi-leaders set up furniture tags and notes and a um, bunch of different kinds of things set up there I've got a table style set up with you know the correct textiles and correct um, heights and everything I have a whole bunch of layers that are already in place and um, this one probably also has uh, some blocks let's see you know it's got some kind of typical typical blocks that I might use in a project so that's helpful so if I wanted to make this drawing file into a template I would do a couple of things the first thing I would do is I would do a save as so I don't lose any of the information and I'm gonna save this as my template file base you know whatever you want to name it is fine and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure all of my layers are turned on and thawed so I don't want anything hanging out there so I'm gonna turn on def points too here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in E for erase and I'm going to type in all for objects so that it selects things that are even out of my um, that are not on my screen and then I'm going to hit enter so then I'm going to do a zoom extents kind of make sure nothing else shows up here and then the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to actually go in I'm going to delete all of my title blocks as well because these actually don't um, don't follow the current IDCAD standards and they don't use the typical title block that we've got so I'm just gonna go in I'm gonna delete these if you've got it set up correctly with the current title block that's great you can leave those but I'm gonna delete those Let's see. 
I have a lot of uh, sheets here, but that's okay. We'll get rid of them. All right, so now that I've deleted all of my layouts, what I want to do, I want to bring in that um, standard title block that we have uh, that's in the, the CAD classes and some of the, the studio classes as well. So I'm going to go to this um, Add a Layout tab here. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to, going to go from Template. Then what I'm going to do is go to where I have my, um, it's this title block vector logo drawing. I'm going to open that and it's going to show me the three layouts that are set up in that um, drawing. I'm going to select all three of them and click OK. And then you'll see I have the 11 by 17 title block, I've got the 18 by 24, and I've got the 24 by 36. So then I've got those standard already set and ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to do a save as and this time, instead of saving it as a DWG, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to save it as a template file, which is the AutoCAD drawing template. It's a DWT. And it automatically takes me to the folder where all the templates are. So I'm going to just call this one AIO Demo Template. And then I'm going to hit Save. And I can add a description or, you know, whatever. I'm just going to click OK and now I've got my template file. Now the next time I go to create a new drawing I can then go and select that AIO demo template click OK and again I'm going to have all of those items already nicely set up um, including these title blocks that I just brought in um, and I'm ready to go and start uh, working on the project. So that's that's really the basics of creating the template file um, and the, some of the benefits of it. So I highly recommend if you've got a project that's got all of this stuff already set up, take a few minutes and 